Hey everybody, uh, Jess here at Arrow Jam Farms. I just happen to have the tree puller on today. Uh, I did a, a long video on the tree puller showing it in action, so definitely check that out. But I had a few questions and I realized after I edited, started editing the video that I forgot to do one thing and I wanted to show the visibility from the cab. So since I didn't do that in the last video, I'm gonna kind of make this a part two and I'm gonna show you kind of from a tractor cab uh, what you see uh, when you're operating the tree puller. So, thanks for checking out the channel, checking out the video. Let me show you what I got. All right, so hopefully this comes across pretty good. I'm gonna have to zoom in. This is the MTL, and you can see the, uh, the push, I call it a push bar, right across here. And I use that a lot. Now, a lot of times I'll start with a detachment, the loader up high, like it is now, because I can I can see I can see that stationary jaw right there. And so if I come in on that tree a little bit high, and I see it go inside that jaw, then I can drop it down, and I know I'm pretty much where I need to be. But on smaller trees, or uh, even just a lot of times, you know, with a level like that, you can't really see. You can angle it up and you kind of get some visibility there. Or you can curl your curl it down and see where you're at and then you can come into the tree kind of like that and then drop it. And you can see right about here is about where you start to lose the visibility. I can see that stationary jaw. And there I can see my, my moving jaw, clamping jaw. But a lot of times what I do, like I said, I'll start where I can see it like that. Or if you notice, this stationary jaw is not gonna move. This push bar is not gonna move. So I know if I can put that tree right dead center of that push bar, then I'm that tree is, this uh, stationary jaw is gonna be right to the right of that tree and I should be good. Now, of course, that does depend on the size of the tree, and you kind of get a feel for it. You will learn to kind of move over just a hair, uh, and sometimes those teeth, you'll feel them sawing into the tree as you push into it, but then, you know, you know, you know that tree's inside there, and you can clamp and do what you need to do. So I just wanted to show that, and, and I'll try to hold this, and i got a little oak tree here, so I'll, I'll try to drive into it, and I'm actually just drop this down where I can't see that jaw, but I can see the tree right here. And hopefully you'll be able to tell. As I come into that tree, I'm gonna try to keep it centered into this push bar. I moved over a little bit, but that's all right. As long as now I'm there. So I'm gonna drop. So now you can tell I pretty much got the tree puller all the way down, but I can still see the top of that push bar. So that always gives me a good gauge. Now if you're looking at a tree puller that doesn't have a push bar, it wouldn't be hard to add something. I just come up right there where that stationary jaw is on top of that frame and just add a, like a piece of angle or flat stock, anything, just to kind of give you a gauge of where that stationary jaw is. And you won't have any trouble uh, with a tractor as far as the visibility goes. Actually, it looks like that was a dead one. That's all right, I didn't need to go to it. I showed you all ago kind of on the visibility of the tree puller from the tractor. I had to put a bella hay out to the cows right quick you see they're up there i got them content and on the way back i thought you know what i'm tired of mowing around this stuff when i mow hay so i thought i'd just start taking out some of these trees and there were some big ones in there and i didn't think i was going to be able to get them but this is the difference between really dry soil and having some moisture in the soil and the trees that you're able to pull the uh the, the long video that I did on the MTL, 
some of those little trees will actually give me a little bit of trouble and i think the main reason for that is because it's been dry we really hadn't had any moisture this winter we just recently had an ice storm come through uh we got quite a bit of rain before that probably half to three quarters of an inch maybe and then plus what ice accumulated and then just a little bit of snow the snow probably didn't add that much but i just want to show you kind of the difference of what i'm able to pull with some moisture in the ground and that's even without a bell on the back now this is a 105 horse tractor but it is a cabola so it is a little bit light This is probably the biggest tree I've pulled so far. And I really didn't have to work at it that much. The first thing I did, I grabbed it up here first and I, I pushed it uh, as far over as I could just so I had that leverage up high. And then once I, I thought I felt some of those roots break, and then I let go of it up here and come on down here and just worked it you know, back and forth some. And uh, I didn't even really have to work it that much. Uh, I did try to lift the rear end of the tractor up a few times. Once I felt it start doing that, I'd, I'd back off on it. You know, I didn't get too crazy with it. And then I just set the back end back down and then work it back and forth a few more times. And then, you know, once you get these things moving, you pretty much got them. You can just keep going, you know, be patient with it and you, you'll get them out. Like I said, that's a pretty good size one there. Uh, there's a few more in there about that size. I might be able to get them. Uh, I might not. I don't know. I'll give it a try. If not, I'll just I'll come over here with a stump bucket and finish them off. All right, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna call that it for this video. So I just want to say thanks for watching. Hopefully that helped you out on uh, visibility and also the tip on the soil moisture. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing so you don't miss any more. There will, there will be some more MTL videos uh i'm gonna try to get a stump bucket video recorded uh yeah stump video grapple i've been making a ton of piles i'm gonna have to clean this up before hay season gets here again thanks for watching and we'll see you next time